Is it a diamond? Oh, yep. Welcome back to another video, miners, prospectors, and rock hounders. It's always good to see all of you back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you like what you see and you decide to subscribe. We go to the Crater of Diamonds and some of us may think, well, that's it, no diamond. Well, really, once you get home, your diamond search has just begun. If you go to the Crater of Diamonds, you can classify the material and collect concentrated material through your classifiers which is washed clean gravel basically each person is allowed a five gallon bucket each day so in this video that's what i'll be doing is going through my material that i bring back from the crater of diamonds each trip i go and we're going to see if we got a diamond here at the house okay some people may never have seen one of these it's a made-up name called a Saruka. I call it my diamond screen. This is actually, to me, a screen. I'm not classifying the material. It's just to find my diamonds. So I call this my diamond screen. Here's all the gravel. As you can see, it's all been washed. And it's all from the east drain. So most of it's lamprite. We do have some good gravel in there. And I believe a couple of these are centers only. And we'll definitely see those when we start making the flips because the centers will be small to really big and that'll tell me i probably have already uh worked those and i want to thank everybody for uh all the views last month i was able to afford this table which we're gonna fold out set up over here and i won't have to bend over and look at centers so thank you all. This table is gonna come in handy. Okay, I got at least, uh, I would say, two, three hours of work right here ahead of me. I'm gonna take my diamond screen, work the heavy minerals. We'll flip them over here on the table, pick out our diamonds. A little bit of wind noise. Sorry about that. I moved you all over there. You're just gonna have to stay over there. Um, plus, that way you can see more. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. There must be diamonds in it. Okay, you know, pour a little bit on there. For those of you that have never done this, you don't want a whole lot of material because you want to be able to have all this moving. And when you're bouncing it in the water, that gets all the diamonds to go down to the bottom because they're heavier. here and all of this over here bounced up in the air i scanned over it first but you can see it's completely just not the way it was when i first flipped it all this bounced up man lots of good heavy indicators check out that little green rock chromium dioxide and this one over here see how it's all nice and packed in there let me know if you see a diamond they're hard and small ones are easy to miss small i'm talking eight point under and some of you may wonder how i get my gravel that i sell on ebay and i give to my patreons and giveaways this is it that's my search i just searched through that you know, I know how to use a Saruka, so my diamond, the diamonds that I want to find should be visible. If it's not, that goes into the bucket, I bag it up, and ship it out. Here, I will not be going over on the tray. I grab my bucket here, I'll take these heavies, and that goes to my pay dirt. I don't know they say they found a diamond through my e 
eBay gravel. You can go back and look at my review. But maybe they did. Some diamonds just aren't meant to be found by you. I know I've missed several diamonds. It hurts to think how big of a diamond I have actually missed. My 1.03 carat, I missed it at the Crater Diamonds. I came home like I'm doing here now. I did the flip, didn't see it. And something told me to go back over those centers and I'm glad I did because that's when I noticed it. On the third time to look at the centers, I seen it's just that diamond was buried in all the gravel. It's not like it was just sitting right there on top. Being the formation and heavy like it was, it was really hard to see. But like I say, some diamonds aren't meant to be found by you. Unfortunately, the table idea was not a good idea. So I'm back to using these mats and the centers are looking pretty good. Letting these dry, that's the best way to find your diamonds is letting all that dry because everything's shiny. But once it dries, the quartz and the barite and all that's gonna get really dull looking and dried out and the diamonds will keep shining. Here's a good example of Spinel, a little black rock right there and the one right below it. See that really shiny black rock, that's the Spinel. And it will fool you as a diamond. Lots of Spinel, that's a good indicator because it's heavier compared to all these other rocks. You can see how it works its way into the center. A lot of times, if you notice, most of my diamonds are over here. You know, I rarely get them right here on the bullseye. Those bigger ones, my one carat was way over here. So those bigger diamonds can't always get through all this. So you definitely wanna check your outer ring of your bullseye for diamonds. Okay, we're a few buckets down. Long process. But check this out. What in the world is that? What is that? Huh. So, yeah, I noticed that right off the bat. Kind of weird. Huh, what's that? Whoa. Holy smokes. Let's dig this thing out and see what it is. Type of metal. You know what that is? Uh, leave a comment. Not sure what that is. <laughs> Nothing else though. eight buckets left the centers are looking pretty good still that's a reflip every time I scoop up the center I'll read flip that material and sometimes you'll get a few more heavies like that. And I've actually got diamonds like that, the really chewed up ones. Okay, I've had these centers laying out for like two hours. I forgot about them. So they're fully dried. Been going to each one of them, checking them out. Oh, that's a good, got all kinds of hematite in that one. But over here on this one, the last one, I noticed something down right, right over in here, a little shiny. Let's dig that object out. This could be a diamond. It 
definitely has that metallic look. So I have my awesome little spoon. Okay, so let's get the spoon. There it is. Is it a diamond? Oh, yep, we have a nice diamond. Oh yeah, that's a diamond. Let's get it, got the finger. Oh yeah, nice little ball. Cool, okay, we got a diamond at home going through the gravel. It's a really nice one too. Look at that. Facets all the way around it. That thing could be flawless. Ooh, that's a nice one. I would say 15 point. My guess, oh, I just dropped it. Get back, little boy. I just dropped that diamond. Oh, here it is. Oh my gosh, okay. There's the diamond. <laughs> we have company. Crane, buddy. All right, cool. So, you know, your diamond can be hiding down in that gravel. Wow, that's a nice diamond. Look at that thing, it's like a soccer ball. Just like I've always wanted to find that soccer ball formation. All right, well, time to head back to the diamond mine and get it registered after we've finished the rest of the material. Yeah, it could be about a 12 point. It's, it's hard to tell, but that thing is just amazing. Look how awesome that diamond looks. Okay, let's get some more. We're gonna take a look at this center here. There's all the heavies we want. The chromium dioxide's in there. It's a really small green rock. That right there kind of looks like a diamond. Oh, I just moved it. One thing you don't want to do is disturb the pile because the diamonds will just sink into this stuff. Being so heavy, and if it's a small diamond, it'll really sink fast. And if you try to dig it out with your fingers, it'll just keep going down into the gravel. That's why we use the spoon. But yeah, this gravel is loaded with heavy minerals. That looks like a garnet right there. A little small garnet, possibly right there tip of my finger so we're seeing garnets chromium dioxide hematite we've found a diamond so far let's see how much uh magnetite's in here i have a earth magnet super strong magnet let's see what we can get out of this thing let me kind of angle it down like this Oh yeah, lots of uh, magnetite. Let's see right there, stuck to it. Still coming out of there. Let's go over here to this center. Check it out. It's really, really uh, pretty. Yeah, I don't see any garnets in this one. Let's see what kind of magnetite we can pull out of this one. Oh yeah, a whole bunch popping up, sticking to the magnet. There's the magnetite. And that's a good way to get some of the heavy minerals out of your pile to help find your diamond. The diamonds will not stick to the magnet. Okay, so we found a diamond here at the house. You never know what you're gonna have in your material. So when you're at the crater of diamonds, you wanna take your five gallon of bucket of material, 
that's worked through the classifiers and washed you just can't scoop up material from the field and then leave you have to process it through the classifiers and uh, have it all washed but don't ever just dump your buckets out because you never know there could be a diamond waiting for you here at your house i'm up to around 40 diamonds now and i would say maybe half or more have been found here at home digging through the centers doing the flips with the saruka so just some advice keep your gravel and take it home pour it out on a huge table on a dump it all out where you can look at every rock however you want to do it i won't be able to get all this worked if you'd like to see if i found any more diamonds jump over to my facebook page and if i found any more diamonds i'll post it on my page diamond miner ivans on facebook so be sure to jump over there give it a thumbs up every now and then i'll be doing random giveaways for those who leave a a recommendation for my facebook page so if your name's already on the reviews or recommended my page in a positive way every now and then i'll do random giveaways so be sure to leave a recommendation to my facebook page i'll have a link in the description below you can click on that it'll take you straight to my facebook page all right everybody be sure and drop a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe thank you all for watching have a great evening and a night morning Bye. Here's all the diamonds that I've registered. Every time you register a diamond, they'll take a picture of it under the microscope. And I like to save every one. This one here is the six point, nearly flawless. There's a couple of spots of carbon on the skin, a couple carbon internally. But other than that, it's a really nice diamond. You can just see all the facets. Those are all facets. Natural facets from Mother Earth. And this diamond here will be a Patreon giveaway once we reach 10 total diamond, gold, and gemstone inspectors. So one of you 10 will win this diamond. We're halfway there. We got five active right now. So we get five more for a month. This diamond will be given away to one of you lucky patrons this diamond here is really really nice one of my better diamonds it's got a few carbon spots right there in the center right in there there's the other side you just those facets were just unbelievable that thing was a four point or something like that and this is a 22 brown this is my first diamond to ever get on a center and I found it at home when I got back from the diamond mine maybe my third or fourth trip after finding a diamond I came home and flipped this and it was sitting right there on the center two point ugly another ugly one six point there's a Two point carbon ball. Here is a 42 point that I got recently out of 12 buckets out of the East Drain. Two diamonds back to back. You can go and check that video out if you haven't seen it. It's also a giveaway video. Here's the other one. So I got both of these diamonds on the same day back to back really cool it's like a new record nobody has ever done that before get two diamonds the same day exactly the same size and same color that was a pretty one kind of chewed up though there's a nice chewed up one here is my half carrot my 53 point i don't guess i wrote it let me write everything down but yeah i got this out of five buckets after getting that 22 brown we looked at a minute ago I got diamond fever and I went down to the snake pit. I got five buckets. I thought I'd go ahead and wash it. My first flip, my first diamond to ever get at the crater of diamonds on a flip on my first day of my trip was this 52 or 53 point. 
think it was a 52, I don't recall, but it was a really pretty diamond. And here is the 12 point flawless that I got out of the South Trench back in October of last year. Over a year ago, got that diamond. Yeah, I'm up to 40 diamonds. All right here is a total of 40 diamonds. The one I just found is 41. 29 point, two point. That's a small one, six point. Flip these around, 17 point. And now this one's upside down. Four point. And here is my first diamond out of a hole. The 33 white got in June of 2016. Got this about six feet down out of 12 buckets of gravel. That came by the Uncle Sam shovel. Two days after getting the 53, 52 point, I got this fancy yellow 11 point. And here is my first diamond I ever found. It's a one point, very small. There's another two point. And a nice chunk of carbon. Two point. Here is the diamond that I recovered near the African wash. I just put a video out with the diamonds back to back talking about the African wash. And I got 18 buckets of that material and it was nothing but hematite and magnetite. And this diamond was sitting way, way off from the center. Here's a nice one, small, but it was a really clean diamond. This diamond was prettier on the other side. They took the picture of the wrong side. This one right here is really cool. This is like the closest to a mackerel that I've gotten to. I mean, it's kind of has the mackerel Form, but not really and you see the red look how that's got red in it nice reddish tint here's the other side and here is the big boy my 1.03 carat out of the east drain we dug a hole about oh six feet down i think i got 14 buckets out of that one had several diamonds got three diamonds of 17 point, a seven point, and a 103. I turned them in beginning of January of 2017, and I was king of the hill for about three weeks. And a man from Maryland, George, who was about 75 years old, knocked me off with a 1.40 carat diamond. Rest his soul. All right. So there's all my photos that I found. So there's all the photos of my diamonds. And the one I just got makes 41 total.